Graphene use in composites and polymers. The biggest problem confronting products made from composites or polymer materials is static electricity. For example, self-leveling epoxy flooring increases in popularity all the time, but its propensity to build up static can result in electrical discharges and fires. Similarly, the generation of static electricity in the blades of wind turbines can harm the generators and their wiring. Static may be a simple phenomenon of everyday life that commonly goes unnoticed, but it can still have serious consequences. However, the problem of static electricity can now be solved very simply. The addition of nanographene to epoxy flooring and polyester resins and polymers in the proportion of 0.05% to 1.5% provides composites and resins with anti-static properties. Meanwhile, the expanded use of composites and polymers also depends on increasing material strength and durability. Nanographene use in polymers has attracted considerable attention in the automobile, aerospace, yacht, and shipbuilding industries. The addition of graphene in the proportion of a few hundredths makes polymers and composites 90 to 100% stronger. Also of note in scientific and tech circles is the prospect of adding graphene to conductive polymers. Currently, graphene is used in polystyrene, polyethylene, polypropylene, and in various electrical products, electrical plugs and sockets, various switches, alarms, circuit breakers, etc. In addition, graphene conductive polymers are used in the manufacture of shielding layers for electrical cables. Moreover, graphene can be introduced into any production process with virtually no change in technology, lending resins and polymers a significant advantage in quality and cost. Nanographene.net. Nano changes, macro results.